Right here we have a long breath, so I'm going to paste my room tone in, go to the end of the breath, ripple trim to previous edit, highlight all of the clips, hit shift command D if you're on Mac or shift control D if you're on Windows, and create a constant power fade. We have removed the breath and inserted room tone. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you one simple technique that I would use to remove breaths or long stints or even little flub ups in your narration or VO. I'll be using Premiere Pro for this tutorial, but you could apply this technique to any audio editing software. What you're going to do first is find an area in your audio recording that has the least amount of noise for the most amount of time. And what this could be referred to as is room tone. And what we're going to be doing with the room tone is isolating a little bit of it and replacing our breaths with it so it's a natural sounding break as opposed to silence. Here I have some room tone isolated and I'm going to turn it up an absurd amount just so you can hear what's going on with your clip of silence. Turn this up 20 and now I can really see there's probably going to be a noise right here. Let's see what that is. Looks like I breathe on the microphone right here and there might be a little bit of breath right there. Let's go ahead and check out this one. I'm going to raise it by 20 dB just so I can see what it's going to sound like. I have a little mouth noise at the beginning of this, so I'm going to move this clip a little bit this way move it just a little bit this way. And let me tell you a pro tip here. Once you've found a good chunk of room tone, what you wanna do is go to the end of your sequence or even to a bin and paste that room tone right here at the end of the sequence. Maybe even label this a different color because if you ever have to take anything else while you're editing and copy and paste, that means you're gonna lose your room tone. By having it at the end of your sequence, or maybe you could put it at the beginning. In fact, I'm gonna put a little marker by mine. You can always go back and select it and put it back into your clipboard. One step that I need to do is return it back to its normal volume. So I'm gonna go back to zero here. And that is our chunk of silence. At this point, I don't want three seconds worth of room tone. What I'm going to do is go somewhere in the middle and make a cut right there, maybe make a little cut right here. We're gonna copy this clip that's about four frames worth of room tone. Now I am ready to tackle all of these breaths. The reason why I don't want three seconds worth of room tone is because every single time I paste it, I don't wanna go over three seconds of my audio. So right here we have a very long breath. I'm gonna move my cursor to where I want to paste my room tone. And look at this, I can cut out half of this breath and I'm gonna ripple delete the rest of this. So I'm gonna ripple trim to previous edit. And if you really wanna know what that is, you can hit Alt Command K or Alt Control K on Windows to bring up your shortcuts and type in something like trim to, ripple trim previous edit to playhead. That's a lot, Premiere Pro, <laughs> but that's what I'm gonna be doing. And just to show you what that technique is, ripple trim to previous edit. That's all I had to do. It takes whatever was at the playhead and goes to the previous edit. I'm going to do shift command D to do a constant power at the gym. And what I would suggest is, and nobody is the wiser. Right here, I have a long stretch of silence. So I'm just gonna paste my room tone, go to this spot right here and ripple trim to previous edit. Highlight, cross dissolve. Rule number two, drink a gallon of water so there was the edited version, and here's rule number two, drink again. Sometimes you do need that silence in there for effect, but right now I'm really just showing you this technique to show you what it is capable of doing. Right here we have a very long breath. I'm just going to hit paste, go to where the end of the breath happens, ripple trim to previous edit, highlight. Constant power fade by hitting shift command D or shift control D, maybe on Windows, bottles per day. About two of those Nalgene bottles are consumed during the workout. So, so right here we have a breath and some silence. I'm going to paste my room tone or ripple trim to previous edit, create crossfade during the workout. So while I'm working out in the morning, I know if I'm What's nice about having a little bit of buffer space on both sides of this room tone is now, if I wanted to add a little bit of space in between here, I can because I have the real estate to do it in that room tone on both sides. So while I'm working out in the morning, I know if I'm walking, I can be carrying the now I'm working paste right here, delete, crossfade with me. And then if I'm working out, lifting weights and everything, I probably will go through one and a half of those bottles. The rest of the Paste, delete, 
crossfade of those bottles. The rest of the water has to be consumed throughout the rest of the day. Doing this technique isn't for every project, but back in the day when I was doing a lot of audio editing, there were projects that clients asked for breath removal. And it takes some time, but it can really polish up a mix if the project calls for it. Just don't go overboard because people need time to digest whatever information is being said to them. And if you don't allow any time for space for a break for the brain to really comprehend what it just heard, even if it's just a little bit of space, sometimes the information will just go straight over their head. This video is a part of a series of audio editing tutorials. If you want to check out another one that I did about editing on the consonant to hide mistakes in your VO, a lot of people got value out of that video. So that's somewhere on the screen right now if you want to check it out. If not, I'll see you guys on the next episode. My name's Javier Mercedes, and I hope you guys are out there living a life of abundance. Till next time.